Hello everyone, it's Christine Trainer here talking to you live from New Westminster, British Columbia, Canada. How's everyone doing? I have another little interesting subject I'd like to talk about today and it kind of molds well with what I'm doing in my life at the moment. So how about we chat a bit, right? I really want to talk about this today. <laughs> anxious, anxious. Okay. It stands from a, a wonderful quote that I've always read from time to time. I'm sort of put on a post-it stuck on my uh, computer. And this is it. The harder you work for something, the greater you feel when you achieve it. Interesting, right? And this is how I want to put it. Dream it, believe it, build it. Interesting concept. Awesome. In all our life, in a workaday life, in our personal life, in our life in general, this is a good way of thinking in our, my, my thoughts. And the reason why I want to talk about it is because first thing you should do, the best thing you should do is number one, write down your vision or your dream that you want to achieve in your life. See the vision above you and write it down. Put it somewhere by your computer and near where you want to be, right? And number two, again, write down the goals of how you want to achieve this beautiful dream and vision. Simple, right? And number three, set the ball rolling. Get out of your comfort zone and get it started. And number four, be consistent each day. Work towards this dream. Work your hardest to get this dream or this vision of you, what you want to do, achieved. Do it every single day. Keep that vision near you. Keep those goals written every single day. Like, do it every single day. Work towards it every day. Do it consistently every single day. Yes. And the sooner you do it, the better you do it. The harder you work towards this particular dream in your life, I guarantee you. What's going to happen? You're going to shout from the rooftops because you, you've achieved it. You're going to feel a sense of pride within you because you are working towards this beautiful dream or you have achieved it. It could be as simple as losing some weight. It could be as simple as losing some weight. As I'm back and forth in my weight, but when I do lose my weight, back and forth in my weight, what happens is you see the vision of yourself thinner. You write down how you want to lose your weight. You write down how much weight you want to lose. And you write down the simple steps and how you want to go. And you do it every single day and it's just a bait consistent basis and eventually when you've got that variety of weight off doesn't that make you feel good because you worked hard towards that goal of getting the weight off it's wonderful right it also means if you're working at a job and you have a particular task that you have to achieve you know it's the same kind of idea like that write down the task the goals how you want to achieve it each day work towards it be consistent work hard and to achieve it and when you have achieved it doesn't that make you feel proud of yourself? Doesn't that make you feel a sense of happiness within you because you've achieved that and you've done it? It's like the same as in a relationship. Sometimes you gotta work hard, oh, excuse me guys, <laughs> to achieve a good relationship. You can write down the dream in your mind, write down the goals you wanna achieve for the two of you together to be happy and be consistent to be together in your daily life together as a couple. Yes, it does work. But that's basically basically an example, you know. It doesn't always good to achieve a sense of happiness because I know there are a lot of people in life that do achieve this as a couple. More power to them because they worked hard in their life and they stayed together. But I think this basic four steps can really help us achieve what we want to do when we work hard for that vision of a dream and then we work towards it and we get there. For example, um, I'm gonna start um, why I'm t saying this example. A number of years ago, like nine years ago, when I did have the cancer and I had um, ovarian cancer and I was healing from it. Luckily, I was cleared, but I was all hauled out, I had a hysterectomy. But while I was healing, and as I was healing, and it took me a few years, because I had a few years of issues in my life or physical issues and I had to take care of myself but after the fourth year when I finally started to become more healthier and clearer I had a particular goal in mind and I wanted to do this it may sound a little crazy but this is what I wanted to do 
I had a beautiful local mountain near where I live because I live in New Westminster. I'm closer to Vancouver and Vancouver is a beautiful mountain called Grouse Mountain. It's more like a, a resort. Uh, it's more like a ski resort and in the summertime you do go hiking. Up there. Guess what I wanted to do? I decided for one whole year I wanted to go hiking up this mountain. Um, there's two trails there. Okay, there's the Grouse Grind and there's the other one called BCMC. And my dream, my goal was to get strong enough, get well, and hike up that trail. To literally get up to that hike, the trail and hike it. And you know what? It was still a dream. I wrote it down. And I wrote down the things I wanted to do in order to do it. And I knew I had to be equipped, well equipped to be a part of it. I knew I had to have the right hiking boots and those wonderful hiking the rod sticks to go with it, so helping with the, with the walk, with the hiking, and the right comfortable gear. And I wrote this all down to make sure I would have it in tone. And I had to be more physically well, so I actually spent more time because I uh, I had at that time I had um, elliptical trainers, uh, yeah, and I was doing that more, and I was working out really steady so I could do that right. And then the time came, the time came where I went, okay, let's do this, and I actually went. Uh, I think one summer day with my sweetie Mazout and we went to the grouse grind and I did that for two and a half hours but you know what even though it was a hard grind because it's basically for people who are physically fit it's like a workout one the next one is more like a beautiful trail where you can hike and do, do, do it your leisure and enjoy but the first one the grouse grind I did it with him I climbed up it's basically there was a lot of people and when I hit the top of the trail I went yeah I did it I felt exuberant I was happy and so that's what gave me the vision what I wanted to do so the next time what I wanted to do, I tell you this, it was uh, springtime still that year. I decided once a week I'll go hiking up this trail. It was called the BCMC Trail because I saw it. When you go to the bottom of Grouse, Grouse Mountain, you see two trails, the Grouse Grind and the BCMC, but I chose this one. And this one is more rockier one, a bit of a harder climb. I tell you guys, a harder climb. But you know what? I had my gear on. Hey, Nettie, how you doing, girl? Nice to see you. I had my gear on. I had my boots. I had my backpack with my healthy food. And I climbed that trail, guys. I climbed it. Because I really wanted to do that. It was hard. I tell you what, it was very hard. Um, the first part of the trail was a little bit rocky. And then it would be steeper. And then I got rocky. And then it was an interesting climb. And then I got to the top of the trail. And I went, yeah! I did it. Because the hard work for me to get up that trail... And I did it. I did it. And I did this for a couple of months, guys. I really enjoyed the walk, the trail, the hike. Oh, it was exuberant. I just felt so happy when I hit there. Because at the top, you have chalets and you have some more things going on. Then you have the back end of, of the mountain where you, there's more trails to go up even further. I digress. I'm going too far ahead here. But I did that for two or three months. And then I made another decision. I'm going to do it twice a week. And I did took my transit, got to the bottom of the Grouse Grind, Grouse, Grouse Mountain, went to the other trail and I hiked. And I did this, I'd say for about 12 months, spring, summer, fall, winter. And winter time was fun because it was a bit more rockier. It was more challenging to get out there. But the hard work of doing this for 12 solid months, to do up that trail, was the best time I ever did in my life. And I enjoyed it in so immensely because I worked hard to do that. I wanted to do the climb. It was awesome, man. And this is the way it is in all our life, working hard to achieve it. It's like I actually did another part to a trail. Like I said, way back further, there's other trails to go up higher. And I decided I want to go to this really rocky trail in the back of Girls Mountain. <laughs> it was really challenging. Um, what happened to me was, I uh, got myself lost up there, <laughs> totally lost. Because I basically, you're supposed to have bells on because it's a wildlife area. There's bears and there's all kinds of animals in that area. And I wasn't, I was prepared. I had lots of noise. I mean, I had bells and everything to make sure, ooh. And there was a lot of people up there, so I met quite a few people. But I found myself lost. I went, ooh, geez, that's a challenge. How am I going to get back to the part of the trail I'm supposed to? And I did. I backtracked, worked hard enough, and I went back to I went back to the trail. I went, hey, I did it. I accomplished going further up past Grouse, Grouse, uh, Grouse Mountain, and I was proud of myself, guys. I mean, really. This is the things we do. When we work hard towards an achievement in our life, we 
can do it. You can take the necessary steps. Write it down. Write down the goals. Get started. Do it. Be consistent every day. And you will achieve what you have wanted to work hard for. It's possible. I also have another example. Well, you know, I have a YouTube channel. Christine Trainer. Do I, I do an everyday journey. And I was determined to continue on with my everyday journeys, which I'll be doing afterwards, by the way, to do an everyday journey every single day. I'd go on 10, 15 minutes, maybe less, and I would do it. And I would talk about myself and my life. And you know what? I wanted to do up to 200 days. I hit my 200 day mark because I worked every day to do, to go online, to talk, to share my life. And I was proud of myself because I did, I achieved that. Now I'm gonna go further. I wanna go over, over to 365 days, guys. So that's my next achievement and I'm gonna do it. And then, it's the same as 10 months ago when I started something new in my life, a brand new thing. And I'm still working hard to achieve it. But every little success I do during this journey I'm doing in 10 months, I'm doing online marketing, I've achieved little successes and I'm proud of myself because I took the time I wrote down my goal. I wrote down the goals I wanted to achieve each day, and I'm consistent. I got on my to, off my tushy, got out of my comfort zone, and I did it. And I'm consistent each day of my life. Challenging, hard work, and I'm doing it because I believe we all can do this in our life. We all have it in us the strength to work hard to achieve what we want to achieve success in life and to be happy be proud of yourselves yes so that's my little lesson today i hope you enjoyed it thank you nadia for saying hey i appreciate it and who knows what i'll talk about the next time eh? there's a method to my madness i love you all talk to you soon bye